New at 5.30, it's an end of an era for Rhode Island's airwaves. Today, we learned that the sounds of alternative rock on WBRU will go off the air late on Thursday night and will be replaced with adult Christian contemporary music. But the folks behind the popular Providence radio station aren't going anywhere. Iowa News News reporter Steve Nielsen has the details. New at 5.30. Friday morning, 95.5 WBRU is going silent. But if you listen to the people that run the place, they say they're just getting started. On your scorching hot Friday afternoon, has it? The clock is running out on a student run radio station bringing rock, news, and hip hop to Rhode Island since 1966. We're taking our next step into the future by moving entirely online. At a news conference Tuesday, WBRU announced what we told you was coming. At 1159 Thursday night, they'll stop broadcasting. Emotions are definitely running very high. They sold 95.5 on the radio dial to a Christian music network, but WBRU. WBRU will continue to broadcast online, and now they have multiple channels to tune into. The new WBRU will be more innovative, accessible, flexible, and independent than ever before. The station cites finances as a key reason for the sale. The nonprofit group Brown Broadcasting Services owns the station. When word spread they were looking for a buyer, alumni came out to stop the sale. The station is a critical part of the Providence and Rhode Island community. But ultimately Tuesday, WBRU filed paperwork with the FCC to transfer the license. WBRU made $5.63 million by selling the signal, which will be set aside in an endowment. Money raised from that will now fund the online broadcast. The station says now they can focus on content and teaching and not ratings. The Brown University student leaders said they're excited about the future, but admit it'll be hard to say goodbye to being a preset on your radio. There is some, some grief to be had, but at the same time, I think that by adapting to a 21st century media climate, we're going to set up ourselves to better reach our audience in the future. So how will it all end on 95.5? What will be the last song they play? I'll quote them directly. Stay tuned. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.